So, you neglected your bike all winter, but the weather's beautiful, the open road is calling, and your hog is dead. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the battery and install a floating charger in a 2008 Harley-Davidson Sportster 1200 Custom. Here's what you'll need. A ratchet with a 10mm socket, a 10mm wrench, an Allen wrench, or in this case a hex bit will do. Don't forget the new battery. You'll need the floating charger kit. Any auto parts store will carry it. And for the purposes of this video, an optional zip tie. Oh, and I almost forgot, the size of the battery is an ETX-14L, but if you forget, that's okay, because the auto parts store should know what's right for your bike. Okay, we're going to take the seat off first. I'm going to use this hex bit, but if you have an Allen wrench, that'll work just the same. First, take this bolt off the back. Now, you can push forward and then pull up on the seat. That'll get it off. You'll find you have no room to work inside a Harley, and it can be really frustrating if you don't free up some space. Next, remove the battery cover. Right after you do, you'll see this fuse box right here. Just push it to the back and pull it right off. Now, reach for your 10 millimeter ratchet, as seen here. You'll need it to remove this strap. It's only connected by this nut, the bottom of the battery, and it can be really easy to get off with the right tool. After you remove the nut, look at the top and you'll find that it hooks around what looks like a plastic belt loop of some kind. After you take it off, you'll be able to remove the battery. Now this next part can get a little bit tough. This is where I'll tag it. So my dad's going to take a little break. Now this next part, I recommend grabbing a new tool. I went with the 10 millimeter wrench that I told you at the beginning of the video. Pull the battery out as far as you can and take that 10 millimeter wrench so you can reach this node in the back. That's the negative node. It's important you remove them in this order to avoid electric shock. After the negative node is out, you'll have more leverage to take out the positive node. So I went back to the ratchet because it is an easier tool after all. Once both ends are removed, you'll be able to remove the battery safely. Now that it's out, open your floating charger. Inside you'll find a lot of different cords, but what we're looking for is the ponytail. On the one end is the adapter that looks like this, and on the other end plugs into your battery, red and black for positive and negative respectively. Take out your new battery and get ready to install it. Now this time we're actually going to do it in reverse of the way we took it out. That is to say, red end first. Take your ponytail charger with the red end and bolt it in first. After that comes the really, really interesting part, and this is where it really gets frustrating. Get in the cut. Thread the negative end of the trickle charger just like you did the positive end. Splitting apart the ends will help you in that respect, but what attaches to the bike offers no slack. I ended up balancing the battery on my knee while using my middle finger to steady the bolt as I used my wrench to finish the job. Once you do that, the battery will finally be installed, but you're not quite ready to ride yet. There's still a few more steps to do. I'm going to step back behind the camera and let my dad finish the job of securing the bike and making it road ready. First, he's going to reattach the strap through the belt loop that we last talked about, line up the hole, and then take the nut that he took out and use the ratchet to tighten it back into place. Once its strap is back on, you can take the fuse box, slide it back in, and pop it into place, no problem. You shouldn't have any issue. Now you put the battery cover right back on. One thing you should know is that it does need further securing. So, what I recommend is taking a zip tie, just like I've laid out for you, and wrap it around this part that you find right here. This will keep the battery secure and keep it from rattling off as you ride. Congratulations, the battery's secure. Now put the seat back on just the way you took it off. Don't forget to put the bolt back in and return to your floating charger box for this part. Plug it into the wall and then hang it up. Next, you should be able to plug it right into your bike. This will maintain a charge to your battery without the bike having to be started, which should increase your battery life a great deal. Congratulations, you got her started right back up. Just listen to that engine. Hopefully she'll stay that way for years to come. Be safe out there and have a good time. <laughs>